So today we're going to talk about on how you validate your data uh, when you insert or update content using your Codeigniter model. So last week uh, we talked about um, using the Codeigniter model uh, to perform some basic tasks like inserting, updating and deleting and we even did like this small crude application to um, uh, move things around uh, on articles. Our table uh, was just like this, uh, an ID, a title, a content, a created that and updated that. So this was our model. But as you can see, um, there's this two um, properties here that we didn't use uh, last week. But we're going to use them now. So what is this for? So imagine that uh, you, when you're inserting a new article, you want the, the, the title to be required in your content as well. But for the sake of argument, I'm going to uh, change this um, table to actually have another column and call it intro as text as well and let's execute that okay so and I'm gonna delete the content from the table okay and now we're gonna start over so first things first let me just edit the view uh, so our blog insert no it was I don't remember let me just go here let's create so let's create another text area and call it intro okay and let's do the same for the update Okay, and let's fill this up. Okay, so like this, we can uh, start uh, validating your data. So if I just uh, create uh, an article here and just put the, the title, uh, I can create the article because, uh, but if I go to update, this is empty. And if I go to the um, to the table itself, those two are empty as well. But let's just say that I want the title and the intro to be required. I want the user to um, to uh, I, I want these two to be required, and I want the user to uh, be required to um, fill the title and the intro to actually create an article. So to do that. We go into this array here and let me just see its intro and title. Okay, so first we use the name of the field and then we say that this is going to be required and we do the same for the intro. Okay, uh, now if I try to create another article here and leave this empty see I get an error because in my blog I'm just showing the errors here so and as you can see I get two errors one for each field uh, the first one says the title field is required and the second one says the intro field is required. Now let's say uh, I wanted to um, actually um, give a, an error that was a bit different than this one, like a, a custom message. So to do that you have this validation message here and to do that what you do is you say the 
name of, of the field again so title then you create another array and you say the inquiry that you want to validate this this time is the required one so required and I say the title is required so please fill it with content okay so if I go back and try to submit this again I get two errors but now I have a custom message in my error so you see how this is useful uh, where you can like create custom messages uh, depending on the validation that you have um, in place uh, now let's say that uh, the intro is required but I also want the intro to have at least a few uh, um, characters like he has to have more than five characters so what you what you do is you pipe it and then you, you say the, the next uh, rule so this will be min length and then you say the number of characters so let's say four characters so if I go back and I fill the title my title and I put an intro but with just three characters I submit and I have an error it's not a valid rule because it's probably not min length so let's let's check the documentation first so coordinator user guide and let's go into the modeling data um, whoops so the, this is not working properly so let's go into the documentation online user guide modeling data and this is what you want coding data model and then validating validating data so require require oh it's it's not with camo case okay so I submit again and this time I only have one error and it says the intro field must be at least four characters in length so you see uh, and now if I wanted to create custom messages for uh, for this one I would have to, to say like intro and this will be an array as well and I say required please fill the intro and then I can say min length sorry and I can say please write an intro with more than four shards just like that and I send it again and I have one in one error and is the one that I just wrote here uh, so what kind of validation rules can you can you apply like the validation rules that you can apply here are the same ones that you can use on the form validation so if you search here for form validation no not the form helper the form vo the validation it's not really the form validation is the validation so you can you can use the validation on whatever you want like any array any object or whatever so as you can see here placeholder setting validation rules available rules so this is all the rules that you have in place so let me just put this a bit bigger so you can see so what we have here is you can validate if a character if you, a, a string is alpha alpha n spaces alpha dash alpha numeric uh, decimal differs like so you can you can uh, compare it with another another field and be sure that is different uh, is the exact length of another uh, field greater than greater than equal to if exists not unique is unique so you have a bunch of this valid URL valid date 
uh, valid CC number. So there's there's a, a, a lot of rules that you can use and you can use them like this. Um, like this is not okay. This is okay. So like this. Um, so this is all you need to know about the validation. And as you can see, the validation, your model uh, should always have, uh, if you're using the CodeIgniter model, and if your CodeIgniter model will be interacting with a, a certain table, it's always a good idea to uh, specify the allowed fields because without them, uh, you actually don't, don't is not, you're not going to be inserting or updating anything on your uh, table. As you can see here, uh, I'm actually, I, I have the allowed fields as a title and, and content, but as a, for the sake of argument, if I put a title here and an intro and I submit it, if I go to update this, there's no intro there. That's because in the allowed fields, I forgot to add the intro here. So the intro will get validated, but will not go into the database. Uh, then you have your validation ruby and your, and your validation messages. Uh, and if you want to, like for instance, let's say I want the, this insert here uh, to skip the validation. So I have the skip validation property here. So all I have to do is just article and then do skip validation. True. So what this does is even if I'm creating a new article here and I have those two rules, I can just create one with just a title. Why is that? Because I skipped the validation. So if you want, for, if for some reason you, you need the, the, to interact with the database uh, and skip the validation for whatever reason, you can do it by just skipping the validation like this. So that's it for today. That's all I had to, to show you. I just wanted to show you about the validation and how, how it works inside the model. Uh, on another video, probably we're gonna go into the validation uh, outside the model and validate everything um, like an array or something that you're submitting that is not going to the model and is going someplace else. Uh, so that's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching uh, and if you're enjoying this series please consider subscribing and give it in a like. Thank you.